the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 198, Jephaniah 1-3 Jephaniah's Story of Lament The righteous who seek God and His justice humbly, even in the middle of darkness of history, can receive God's protection. First point, God proclaimed the day of the Lord to the prophet Jephaniah. The prophet Jephaniah was the fourth generation of Hezekiah's family. Although Jephaniah was a member of Josiah's family, he had to proclaim the destruction of South Judah. Like God, he also deeply wanted the people to repent and to change. God told through Jephaniah of the people who were to receive punishment. The first regarded idol worshippers. The second regarded the leaders of South Judah who led the people in evil ways. The third regarded the traitors. The fourth regarded those who did not worship God. As such, God rebuked those who worshipped idols, those who worshipped both God and other idols, and also those who did not even care to know about God. God warned the people that His day would soon come. Second point, those who kept God's laws were the lamentists that God reported to. God told through Jephaniah that he would make the whole world repent. The few people who kept their faith until the end would become God's lamnant. Concerning the lamnants, Jephaniah and Habakkuk explained who they were in detail. The lamnants would keep God's laws and decrees and carry out justice and righteousness. They would not tell lies and have faith in God despite the fears they had. The lamentists recorded in the Bible include Joshua and Caleb, who separated themselves from the other ten leaders. The 300 soldiers among the 32,000 during the times of Gideon. The seven thousands who refused to kneel down to Baal during the reign of Ahaz and Jezebel. Those who believed in God in South Judah despite others going in the wrong direction. Daniel and his three friends who were taken as captives to Babylon, as well as ten thousands who went with Ezekiel. All these people were a minority, but they were the ones who gave God the most joy and hope. Third point, God proclaimed judgment on the surrounding countries of South Judah through Jephaniah. After proclaiming judgment on South Judah, God proclaimed judgment on their surrounding countries. The first was Philistine. The second was Moab and Ammon. The third was Cush. The fourth was Assyria. God explained in detail the reasons behind their judgment. This is what they will get in return for their pride, for insulting and mocking the people of the Lord Almighty. First point, God proclaimed judgment on Jerusalem, which became a desolate place. Through Jephaniah, God outlined the sins of Jerusalem one by one. The first was that they were rebellious, dirty and unjust. The second was that they did not listen to God's orders or laws. The third was that they did not turn to God nor look for Him. The fourth was that the Jerusalem leaders were like roaring lions. The fifth was that the prophets were arrogant, who did evil in the temple and did not keep the laws. Although God told them this specifically, they still did not repent. Now they could not escape God's judgment. Fifth point, God could not conceal his joy towards the people who persevered until the end with God's laws. God told Jephaniah of his hope and salvation for the lamnants. 
They want to sing God's praises. God did not give up on hope for the people of Jerusalem until the end. Thus, judgment did not mean the end, but was a means to re-establish a kingdom of priests. God could not conceal his joy towards the small number of people who believed in him and persevered through their circumstances with the faith. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.